she calls me and she's just like like something something horrible just happened so I'm like almost in an accident turning around go to my family it's about to get Hey, um, I got an idea. We're coming over there, all You're of us right us? now. I was telling them what happened with Nathaniel this morning, and then I got an idea how we could actually maybe solve the problem. So we're gonna come inspect the gate. We're gonna, we're gonna film it, so we're gonna put you on camera. Are you ready? What? Yeah, we're making, a, we're making a vlog. Close, um... That's it, we're working out. You're working out, you're figuring out, solving problems, you're making it happen, you know what I mean? You're just messing with me, you're not gonna film that. No, Come I on. am, I'm telling you. It is, trust me, we're gonna solve a problem and it's gonna be good, all right, so. Just, all right. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Right. Wait, wait, you're coming over now? Like right now? Like, you're gonna, <laughs> to you're film gonna, me? You're gonna <laughs> fix a gate and you're gonna, I mean, it's a real problem though, right? For sure. My son, does, you know, Tanya has autism, like he doesn't know, he gets out, goes in the street. I mean, that's crazy danger right there. I was in Billy's office and see this bad boy right here. He actually made this to what, hold headphones to a desk, right? But as soon as I saw this knob, and I was like, man, it's 3D printed. We can make anything. Like, let's go kind of make a clamp that goes over the gate somehow and lock it. Then I'll just put a, a sign saying, you know, to a gardener or anybody else that I have an autistic son we're keeping in, so make sure that you replace this every time that you come in or leave. We'll just have to see what we're working with, take some measurements and yeah. see what uh, what's there. I mean, like, make it so you can, like, you know, just loosen it from both sides, yeah. lift it off, open the gate. You can make it black or you can make it... That neon orange. The neon orange, and then it brings attention that, hey, yeah. this is a safety feature yeah. for my autistic son, you know? Yeah, so what I was thinking was like something... What's up, Gina? Oh, you're on camera, baby. Oh my gosh, I thought you were joking. <laughs> it's it's lunchtime. She's not expecting me to be home right now. Of course not. I know. It'd be like a sleeve that fits down over this and over that, and it would just lock the doors together. That's a good uh, approach. You don't want him getting out of this gate because, like, he can get in the street and then. Yeah. I like it. So one idea I just kind of had was kind of make this shape to fit o to fit over this. Yeah. You could have the screws on it. You don't take it off. Just slide it back. This is kind of like a T nut. And this is your T nut slot, so it just slides right over that. You can tighten it down and it stays. Loosen it and then you just slide it back there like that. The beauty of 3D printing. Like real solutions, like you have a problem, you can just go design it up, print it up. And just print it Same up. day, yep. solve that problem, make it happen. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I was really frustrated. It was very. I was driving and she calls me and she's just like, like something, something horrible just happened. So I'm like almost in an accident, turning around, go to my family, and she starts telling me the story. And I'm like, okay, you're good. Next time, like just, just say warning. like everything's good. <laughs> yeah, give give me a little, uh, just give me a warning. Like everything's good, <laughs> but but this happened. is what happened. <laughs> Gabby, we made this with a 3D printer Ready? and then this Ready? solved our problem. Do you see the board goes in here and then there's the gap right here. So we measured the gap, Mr. Billy Boyce making it happen. From here to here is the exact same distance as from here to here. And then the bar comes across right there, locking it in place. And 
that's it. It's locked. You can't open it. Wow, that's Boom. crazy. Wow. Printed on a 3D printer. 3D printer. Wow. I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, all demand. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that. One day later, we print it all up, and then we can look at maybe like putting the latch on the top or doing something different. But today, just for now, yeah. But today, just yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. It's solved. Yes. Okay, high fives, all of us. Ready? Boom! Solving problems. So good, man. 3D printing saving the day. Boom. <laughs> Say hi. 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 One thing that it's hard to imagine is like what a parent with an autistic kid has to live through. <laughs> my daughter, just keep rolling. My daughter, but <laughs> I got bubbles. You think about it, before my son learned how to swim, we were scared to death of him getting out of the house and actually going in the pool because we wouldn't know and he could drown, right? So we're playing around with 3D printing and it, it's a great thing. But the underlying story right here is like autism and keeping your family safe is everything right now. So to Billy and the whole team, thank you very much for solving this problem. 